Hello, my doves, my dovey wovies. Welcome back to Mama Appetite's Kitchen. So today I am going to be making shrimp albondigas. For those of my doves that don't eat meat on lunch, so this is what it's re it's a really good recipe for these days okay what i'll be using is some celery i'm going to use two stuck half an onion one green onion one carrot one tomato one mexican squash calabacita limon lime i'm going to be using half a can of chile del pato Woo! Chile del Pato is spicy. Not too spicy, but it, it has some spice. So if you do not want spice, you can add tomato sauce. A half a can of tomato sauce. Then I'll be using cilantro, black pepper, garlic, and I'll be using some uh, breadcrumbs. And just half of a uh, shrimp cube because it's very pungent. Now, the breadcrumbs do not have carbs. This is what I am using. You can see it's keto bread from uh, Costco. It does not have no carbs. So this is carb friendly. And let me bring you over here. I have seven cups of water boiling here. So, let's get started. I'm going to start by cutting up all of my veggies. If you want them bite size or smaller, you can do that. My calabacita. So I'm saving these uh, green onions to put in my mixture of my uh, shrimp. Now here's my shrimp. I peeled it and deveined it. It's very easy, but if you don't want to go through that trouble, you can always buy it devein and deshell if you don't want to mess with it. Cutting my into my tomato. Do our half of an onion. Now let's dice our carrot. Not dice. I'm gonna cut cut it in rounds. Okay, to my boiling water, I'm going to add the half of chile del pato sauce, black pepper, 
teaspoon teaspoon of garlic half of a shrimp cube and we'll drop off all the veggies we'll add a little bit of cilantro we'll mix up it if you want to add salt go ahead and add it i'm gonna wait until it's uh boils and stuff so i can taste it to see if it needs a little salt because the shrimp cubes are salty okay now let's go down to our other step so to my food processor i'm going to add all of my shrimp if you don't have a food processor, uh, you can do it in your uh, blender, little by little. Don't crowd your blender. Okay, Davi is in my bowl. I'm going to add all of my shrimp. See, this is the way we want it. For our shrimp albondigas. I am adding half a cup of breadcrumbs from my low carb bread now one thing i wanted to let you know please please do not add flour to your shrimp because you will only be making shrimp flour dumplings or it, it'll taste like paste you'll be making paste shrimp paste so let's use breadcrumbs. Then we'll use some cilantro and the green onion. I'm adding a pinch of black pepper, pinch of salt. And let's use our hands, our best tools. Yes, like I was saying, no flour in your shrimp albondigas. Now I'm adding one egg. You need to mix this really, really well. All right. Now, guys. I do not like my vegetables cook to death. I like them a little crunchy. So it's been cooking for about 20 minutes. So let me taste for salt. <clears throat> it's about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now let's start making our albondigas. 
shrimp albondigas. Now we need to put a little oil on our hands. So this, make sure you don't stick too much to your hand. Now you can make them small, medium, or large. I'm making them kind of medium. Throw it slowly in your soup. I'll add a couple of big ones for big eye. See, very easy to maneuver. Or I should say to roll. <laughs> Guys, these are so yummy. You have to make them. Oh my God, this soup. And then if you like hot, like spicy hot, and add more chili. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to finish up and I'll see you in a bit. So they're boiling away over here. Mmm. Now, shrimp cooks very fast. So just cook for about eight to 10 minutes and they're done. So they're done and ready to serve. Oh, you guys, it smells yummy in here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at this. Wow. So yummy. Mm -mm -mm. So there you have it, my dove. Shrimp palmondigas. Mm. So, let me put some lime. Mm -mm -mm. You can eat them with chips. Pan bolillo, which is like Mexican uh, French bread or corn tortillas, flour tortillas, whatever you want to eat it with. But I like them with chips. So let's try. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for this food and I thank you so much for this blessed day. Amen. All right. Oh my God, they're so tender. Mmm. Just look at this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, this is scrumptious. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
my veggies are not overcooked. They're just perfect. So my doves, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. W.